Good morning, folks, or it's morning for me anyway. Uh, it's 7 a.m. and I'm headed to Townwide Yard Sales in a town about a oh three quarters of an hour away. And uh, then there's another one that's about another 45 minutes from there. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do it depending upon what kind of time I've got and how I feel. And uh, yeah, so we'll be headed off and I'll show you the finds momentarily. So I'm back. Um, didn't get as much as I had hoped. Uh, pretty kind of slim pickings really. But uh, did get a few things and uh, got a, a pick to go on now in a, a hoarded property. One that I knew about. Um, but it's changed hands and they're cleaning it up. So it's time to uh, pick it. So anyway, here's what uh, I got in the morning. Uh, Aladdin Alakite lamp. I'm not sure if this one glows or not. I guess we'll find out. I'll take a uh, black light to it. Some of these glow, some do not. So it could be uranium glass, might not be. We'll see. Uh, uh, it came with this chimney, which is the wrong chimney. Uh, Aladdin chimneys are actually have only a slight bump here, not such a major one, and this is a locks on type burner. Uh, so the chimney that fits this one actually locks in place. So anyway, I gave 30 for the two pieces, so I can get maybe 55 or 60 for the lamp, and maybe 20 for the uh, chimney. So I'll, I'll make money, but uh, not a whole heck of a lot. But I uh, do, will be making a little bit. I've uh, got a CPR lock, switch lock, Canadian Pacific Railway, uh, and a uh, tin of buttons. Of course, I can't open it with one hand now. There we go. Just a tin of buttons for a quarter. Um, I saw this uh, Chinese uh, coin in it but I didn't see too much else but I didn't dig to the bottom so for a quarter I thought well I can dump it out and see if there's anything good in there um, if not I'll throw all the buttons in a uh, jar and maybe send it through auction or something uh, I'll check and see if there's anything any significant buttons but I don't think there's going to be just that gut feeling but you never know so worth buying a bin of buttons for a quarter the tin is nothing special it's a tobacco tin that's missing a label so it's not that big of a deal uh, souvenir of Selkirk Manitoba a picture of their bridge uh, pressed glass uh, footed com uh, cake plate or titbit tray plate something like that um, let's see there's no chips on it that I could find but you never know a few little scratches but not a big deal uh, actually is purple it's amethyst but a uh, little tough to tell in the photo or in the video but it is amethyst it's starting to turn purple so amethyst glass um, the type that turns from clear to amethyst the purple it has manganese in the glass, not magnesium, but manganese. So that's what causes it to turn purple. Uh, from a free bin, I got a father mug. This was about 11 o'clock in the morning when I got this. And uh, a couple tiki mugs. I ended up going actually to two townwide sales. Uh, the first one had about 27 sales. The second one... I'd heard was a town wide and I got there and oh it was town wide but there was four sales <laughs> and then two outside the town uh, in a rural setting and I I didn't go to one I was running late so I had to get back to the store here as it was I opened up late at about two o'clock so anyway I uh, got a couple celluloid cake toppers for a uh, wedding cake and a little porcelain one for a wedding cake. 
Um, and where I got these and this pair of Lee pants, I was given these. Um, they're vintage, <laughs> definitely vintage. Uh, Value-wise, I don't know if they've got a lot of value, but we'll find out. Uh, Lee denim can have some good value uh, in vintage denim, but uh, I don't really know about the kind of gabardine type pants. I guess we'll see. But I was given them just uh, as a thank you, I believe, for helping uh, evaluating a fellow's, uh, some of his antiques and stuff and uh, or as a couple's antiques rather not just his so yeah um and they had been in the store before so we'll uh they're going to come by and maybe do some trading or sell me some other stuff as well so anyway i got a 50s piece of uh, glass i'm not sure who made it i guess we'll find out um but it was two bucks can't leave it there for two bucks. It's $25, $30 all day long. Um, and then a butter crock. It's unmarked, but it was two bucks. And again, probably about a $20 crock, $15 crock. Two fire extinguishers. One general, one stemple. So and these are fairly generic. They're just uh, regular fire extinguishers that anybody could get for their business or home but uh, collectible nonetheless. And wet paint signs. Well, these, got a little stack of these. They're kind of cool. Um, I guess there's there's apparently people that collect wet paint signs, but they don't sell for a lot of money. I'm assuming five to $10 a piece maybe, and probably they won't sell very quickly. But you never know. Uh, we've got a scale, kitchen scale. Then we got a little, uh, the scale was a couple bucks, and then we got a little uh, shade here for a couple bucks, kind of Art Nouveau-ish style etching, uh, enamel shade with mount, and I got a couple signs, uh, Mr. Squeeze, which is kind of cool, just a little different, not a lot of value, but still kind of neat. Um, then this one, I think I... The Mr. Squeeze was five bucks or something like that, so well worth buying for that. Uh, this one was ten. It's an Atlas wiper blade advertising sign. It's double sided, but the other side is a little bit worse for wear, as you can tell. So, but for ten bucks, yeah, why not? It's a good decorator. Um, then there was a Speed Queen dry cleaner sign. Pretty limited market, but uh, it again, it was $10, so well worth picking up. Don't know if it works or not. Guess we'll see. Um, I'm not sure if it had another end here or not, but whatever. It still uh, it might have had another tin piece here to hold this in place, but I'm not, not too sure. Still looks cool, but again, limited market. Not a ton of people that collect uh, dry cleaning related stuff, uh, but appliance stuff, uh, maybe there might be somebody that will pick it up. But for the price, I couldn't leave it there. So, uh, tin shade and a cream can, and last but not least, a uh, John Deere stool. Now, the stool is pretty modern, it's not antique by any stretch of the imagination, it's probably last 10 or 20 years something like that but John Deere stuff sells neat advertising piece regardless uh, it was $20 so for that I think I can get 65 uh, once I clean it up a bit I should be able to clean the paint off hopefully I've got uh, the technology to do that so we'll see anyway that so last but not least I got an oak stacking bookcase or barrister's bookcase, or uh, sectional bookcase, among other terms. Um, it comes apart into one, two, three, four, five pieces, and I gave 200 for it. Now, I initially gave 250 for it, but when I bought it, it was a dark basement, no lights, so I was looking at it by flashlight, and when we took it apart, 
uh, it turned out there was an issue. Uh, there already was an issue I spotted. Uh, there was a chunk out of this corner here. And uh, I could see that there was marks and such on the inside. And normally, uh, oh, it's crooked. I see. We'll straighten it out here. Uh, let's see. There we go. It's a little loose. The base is a little loose. And when we took it apart, I found this. So yeah, this piece here is all warped. So the bracket that makes the door function properly attaches to it. So it's all warped and doesn't close. It also causes the top piece to not fit 100% correctly. Um, it's supposed to sit in this gap. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't because of that. So it needs to be replaced. Um, and I don't have the skills to do it. <clears throat> I really don't want to spend the time doing that. So I'm just going to sell it as is. And like I said, I initially gave 250 for it. But uh, when I loaded it, I saw that and I showed the, uh, the daughter of the woman the estate was of. And she handed me back 50 bucks. So <laughs> I've got 200 into it now. Um, I think I can maybe get 375 something like that, maybe 350 so we'll see. Um, yeah, uh, I have some customers that are looking for stacking bookcases. I'm not sure whether they would be interested in this one, but I guess we'll find out. So as you can see, it uh, doesn't quite, quite fit. It's got a very slight tilt to the front. So anyway, but that's it. That's what I picked up, um, and like I said, I've got a pick out of it. I'll be going back into that area to uh, do some picking uh, of a um, of a hoarded property. So yeah, so there could be some cool stuff come out of that. Be uh, looking for that video down the road. It should be coming up. Uh, oh, probably shortly after this one, something like that. A few days at least. But uh, yeah, so anyway, that's what I picked up, folks. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.